honoring Florida children who were killed and shining lights on the cases of others still missing. Today, state leaders recognized Florida Missing Children's Day with a ceremony in Tallahassee. And the list of local cases keeps growing with their family members attending the somber occasion. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michelucci tells us police and loved ones aren't giving up hope on the unsolved cases. A moving and somber ceremony in front of Florida's capital today. We remember the children whose lives have been taken and those who are still missing. At the annual Missing Children's Day event, families and friends remembered the children abducted and killed. Tristan Bailey. Tristan was a beloved St. Johns County 13-year-old. Her schoolmate charged with her death. Her parents joining other grieving families honoring their loved ones. Telling us, we pray for the return of those children still missing and encourage Jacksonville viewers to be vigilant. Summer Thompson. Dina Thompson knows the drill all too well. She's been attending this since someone kidnapped and murdered her seven-year-old daughter, Summer, in Orange Park in 2009. Her killer, serving life in prison. Does this help? You've got grieving families coming together. You're honoring the loved ones. Does it make a difference for them? I believe it does because you get to be around people who truly understand what you're going through and until you've gone through this you I, i'm no they, you just can't understand it you can't understand a particular set of circumstances until you yourself have walked in those shoes a big focus is on the children who have not been found their families waiting painfully for answers and some sort of justice tiffany sessions Tiffany was a college student who went missing from the University of Florida in 1989. Haley Cummings. And who could forget Haley, the Putnam County five-year-old who vanished in 2009 without a trace. Her family getting worldwide attention, but still no closure. Today we honor Florida's children who were cruelly taken from us and the ones who have not yet come home. We honor their memories and we reaffirm I promise that we will never abandon the search for them. I promise you that. Another local mystery that remains unsolved, the disappearance of Mark Degner and Brian Hayes. The 12 and 13 year olds haven't been spotted since leaving Jacksonville's Paxson Middle School in 2005. If you have information about any of these cases, call local police or the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at one 800 the Lost. I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. And the state also recognized the law enforcement officers who made a difference, those who've helped prevent kidnappings and find missing children. For a list of the award recipients, go to newsforjax.com.